In this video, let's learn how to replace the watch option with the composition API. To get us started, in the components folder, I've created a file called watch.view since watch is the option we are trying to replace. Within the file, we have the code for a simple component. It contains the data option with one property called name set to an empty string. The same is bound to an input element in the template using the vModel directive. For this data property though, we do have a watcher. The watcher keeps track of the name property and runs a function every time its value changes. The function receives the new value and old value of the property, which for our example, we simply log to the console. If this is something new to you, please do watch the video on watchers before proceeding. If I head to the browser and start typing my name, you can see the logs in the console. On every keystroke, we see the new value and the old value. Our watcher is nothing too fancy or even practical, but it serves the purpose of recollecting how a watcher is implemented with the options API. Now, let's learn how to replace this watch option with the composition API. There's quite a bit to learn, so in this video, let's focus on data defined using only the ref function. In the next video, let's look at the reactive function and a few more details. I'm going to begin by importing ref from view. Next, add the setup method. Within the setup method, let's define a reference. So const first name is equal to ref with an empty string. Return it from the setup method and bind it to an input element in the template using the vModel directive. So make a copy, placeholder is first name and vModel is first name as well. Now let's add a watcher for this first name. To add a watcher, we import the watch function from view. Next, within the setup method, we call the function watch. The function accepts two arguments. The first argument is the data source to watch. For our example, it is first name. The second argument is a function which is pretty much the same as the one we used for our watch data option. It receives the new value and old value as arguments and runs every time the first name value changes. Within this function, let's simply log the two values to the console. We have now replaced the watch options API with the composition API. Let's head back to the browser and ensure this works as expected. Clear the console and type in first name. And we see the values being logged in the console. As you can see, it is pretty straightforward. Import the watch function from view, watch the data source and execute the function. Now there are two more points I want to cover in this video. Let's start with multiple sources. At the moment, we just have first name and we are watching for changes in first name. However, you might come across a situation where you might want the same function to be run for a different data source as well. Luckily for us, the watch function accepts an array of data sources as well. So let me quickly walk you through an example. I'm going to define another ref. This is going to be last name. Let's set Wayne as the initial value. Return it and bind it to the template. So make a copy. This is going to be last name. And the model is also going to be last name. Now on the existing watch function, the first argument can be specified as an array. So first name, comma, last name. 
We are asking Vue to run the same function whenever there is a change in either the first name or the last name. But this time, the arguments to the functions are arrays as well. Let's call the arguments as new values and old values, plural. Now in the function body, let's specify first name old value, first name new value, and make copies of this for last name as well. Now how do we access these values from new values and old values? Well, it's pretty simple. Since first name is the first item in the array, you access old values of zero and new values of zero. Since last name is the second element in the array, old values of one and new values of one. If you now head back to the browser and type in either first name or last name, you can see the log statements from the same function are executed. So keep in mind, a watcher can watch multiple sources at the same time using an array. Now the other point is about immediate watchers. We've already learned about them with the watch option earlier in the series. At the moment, if I refresh the page, you can see the watcher function is not executed immediately, but only when there is a change. If you want the watcher to run on the initial value as well as subsequent values, you need to specify a third argument to the watch function. The argument is an object and we specify immediate as true. Now, if we go back to the browser on page load, the watcher is executed. Ideally, your watcher logic will contain side effects like making an API call, for example, but I hope the example is sufficient enough for you to understand how you would be doing that. All right, that is about watchers with the ref function as well as watchers with multiple sources and immediate watchers with the composition API. In the next video, let's understand about watchers with the reactive function and how to watch for deeply nested properties in a reactive reference. I'll see you guys in the next one.